In this session, we shall learn lab experiment on a stable multivibrator using transistors. A stable multivibrator. So using transistors. The base the circuit for that is RC, RC, R, R, this is plus VCC, this is VC1, this is VC2, from transistor Q2, this is transistor Q1, this is C, this is C. This RC couple, RC, a stable multivibrator, this a stable multivibrator using transistors will produce a square wave from here with duty cycle 1 by 2. That means if the output waveform obtained from VC2 is in this manner, this time period as well as this time period T1 and T2 will be same. So that's why particularly RC and RC and particularly here R and R made same and this C and C are made same. If uh, appropriately if R and R's and C's have been changed, you can obtain different duty cycle waveforms. So this is a basic RC uh, stable multivibrator. It's working uh, simple that we learned in theory. Here I focus only on the design aspect of this. Some important points is to be mentioned regarding the design of RC couple, RC, I mean the stable multivibrator. First, we shall decide the uh, objective, the aim. Aim is to obtain an output of 9 volt peak of and uh, uh, 1 kilowatts frequency, 9 volt. So, we will get a square wave, that means positive going square wave uh, varying from maybe 0.3 to 9 volt. The square wave from 0.3 positive to 9 volt with the frequency 1 kilohertz. This is the objective. So first, since this except uh, the act, the objective is uh, 9 volt, we keep plus 9 volt here. That's what we decide first. Then transistors we shall select. Transistors we can select uh, a low frequency. Uh, low power transistor like SL100 or BC107 or any 2122, anyone. So, here let us select BC107, both BC107. So, uh, the once we selected this, we should refer to the data sheet. Data sheet will show you that uh, the IC, of course, the HFP minimum, HFP minimum is 100 at the rate of IC is equal to 2 million. Years at IC is equal to 2 milliampere. That means HFE minimum guaranteed at current 2 milliampere. So that's the for that reason we shall uh, uh, assume IC through this is 2 milliampere for that particular reason. So IC, we select IC is equal to 2 milliampere. Once IC is selected, we can now design and find the values for RCs and Rs. Of course, finding the values of resistors is done by just using the Ohm's law, <coughs> just Ohm's law, just to find the voltage across this and the current through that, current is obtained. So RC is simply the voltage across this. What is the voltage across this? Uh, IC is the flowing through this means the transistor must be in on state because the transistor's function is to uh, work as a switch either on or off, it should be on or off. If this is on, this potential should be VB Saturation is about 0.7 volt and this will be about 0.3 volt and IC will flow through that. At that moment, 
when this transfer is on this transfer will be off there won't be any ic flowing through ic will be zero and this will be a very negative potential and uh, this will be high voltage so presently when ic is flowing through this is on and uh, current is uh, 2 milliampere and potential at this point is plus 0.3 so now we can calculate rc as vcc that is 9 volt minus vce saturation by ic this is nothing but 9 volt minus 0.3 volt by 2 milliampere this will work out to some value approximately however we can select that will be near to 4.8 uh, 4.35 k so since the 4.3 k resistor is not available we can select a standard value of 4.7 k so that we should use here 4.7 k here 4.4.7 k here so we selected we design rc now what about uh, uh, r uh, we have the equation for the free time period of the oscillation t t is equal to 1.38 rc this is for a stable multi vibrator uh, which generates a square wave with a duty cycle 1 by 2 otherwise we can use this expression so if this is 1.3 rc now given t is equal to 1 kilohertz uh, time frequency is given 1 kilohertz so t will be 1 millisecond naturally 1 millisecond uh, the reciprocal of frequency 1 kilohertz is 1 millisecond is 1.38 rc so there are two unknown parameters r and c what should we select there is a wrong uh, notion that uh, people think that c should be selected first the uh, why because many have got the wrong understanding that when c that c should be selected first because the availability of C with various values are not there. That's why people first opt for selecting C because that the availability of standard values are less in number, so they select. This is the wrong thing because if you select C first and so if time period happen to be very long, then you will get a very high value for R. For example, if you need one second here and if you select a few millisecond here, micro few micro few microfarad here then find R is less a small microfarad capacitor here you will find very high value for R in that case if R value is very high what will happen is that this current flowing through this and flowing into this transistor will be very less because we have to have a sufficient current flowing into this transistor as well as this transistor when it is on now this is on that is off so we will think about the current flowing through this so this current flowing through this into this should be that current IB of a saturated transistor should be greater than IC by HFE. So we assure this is greater than IC by HFE by assuming an equation uh, some 10 times or 5 times IC by HFE. This is essential to keep the transfer on. So this R should be first selected. After that you have to find the value for C. If you do in the other way around, you when if you select the C then if you try to find R, sometimes R will be either very low or very high. If it is very high, then the current, it will not have sufficient current flowing into this. This is the problem. So first we will select uh, R. We have to find R. So how do we find R? It is again Ohm's law. Potential at this point, potential at this point. The potential at this point is about uh, 0.7 volt. So we can easily find out R is equal to, R is equal to VCC minus v, VBE sat by IB. Here, uh, VCC we know 9 volt, VB side is there about 0.7 volt and IB. See IB is IC by HFE into 10. IC by H IC is 2 milliampere, so 10 into 2 milliampere by 100. So that will be working out to about uh, 20 microampere into 10, it will be about uh, uh, 20 microampere, 200 microampere, something like that. 200 microampere. So that you have to put it here. You will get a value that is about. Uh, can calculate and find out that value. It's about some value. Okay, you put it that that will come approximately. If you calculate, you find it about uh, some 82k or 47k, 42k. Or 
Standard value. We select the standard value 42. Okay. Okay. After that, we will put that value in this equation. So, we will find C. Substituting the value of R in this equation, we will find C. C will be about some few millis. 0.01 or equal this is uh, some value I just marked, this may not be accurate, then you have to find it out. This is the way of doing it. Uh, this is the simplest uh, civil multiplicator. Uh, use these equations for getting that. These values I marked because they don't calculate exactly. This is the way of finding the uh, values for R's and C's and RC. We got only uh, two set pairs of uh, resistors and uh, one pair of capacitors here. And if you want, uh, this should be designed with a different duty cycle. Uh, like uh, uh, duty cycle is not 1 by 2. For example, not 1 by 2 D. Duty cycle D if you want, uh, uh, not 1 by 2, instead 1 by 3. That means you want to get the output like this. Uh, something like this. Something like this. In that case, uh, for example, 1 millisecond. This will be about 3.33 millisecond. This is 0.66 millisecond because uh, this is double of that. Uh, this is T on, this is total time T, T on by T. That is duty cycle 1 by 3. 0.33 by 0 0.99 uh, will give you this duty cycle. In that case, we have to decide and we have to decide where from we take the output. If you take the output from here, see during this much period, this transfer should be in all stage. That means this R1 and then C1, R2 and C2 will decide. So, R1, C1 should be equated with this. That means 0 0.69, 0 0.69 R1, C1. 0 0.69 R1, C1. Amount of time, that is this transistor Q1 will be non-state. This Q1 will be non-state for R1, C1 into 0 0.69. So, equate this. And naturally, this will be 0 0.69 R to C2 because during that period that transfer will be on at present this Q2 this is the output taken from you so Q1 is on for this period and the Q2 Q1 is off for this period in the opposite uh, phase of the working uh, during this period that transfer will be on and during this period that transfer will be off so now we decide that to take the output from here then equate this with this equate this with this and the first we have obtained R1. Let R1 and R2 same because first we select R1 and R2. So there is no need of making R1 and R2 like R R because R we design first and only C1 and C2 we may change. Of course, uh, the if this is uh, equated to this, this capacitance will be of half of the capacitance of this. If this is, uh, for example, uh, 22 microfarad, this will be 10 microfarad. And if you take the output from here, you will get the duty cycle 2 by 3, just opposite. These are the basic uh, uh, design criteria of a stable multivibrator. There are a large number of uh, questions related to this and uh, various types of forms you can obtain from this and uh, waveforms obtained from this and working all these kind of things uh, we can have an analysis in another session.